Troops are massing at every border crossing. Well, no surprises there. It was the same after Drake's breath. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running air riddance or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well... When you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. How are you doing? It was luck, and luck alone. But now... Thank you. Anything catch your eye? something in there welcome to the patron's whisper kooka <sighs> but when i close my eyes if only i don't know how i wish you were here Your benefactors are a generous lot. for ya. Hugo Cook is dead, isn't he? We don't have to live in fear of him anymore. Don't think Mid's been to visit her old man's grave in years. So take her with you when you go. Let Sid see his daughter's face. If he can recognize it under all the grime.
I know what you're going to tell me. Thank you, Clive. Thank you. to boyish charm, Goots has an indomitable rival in Gal. One is the sweet little babe in arms to be cooed over, the other the naughty little boy who pull on my pigtails. need some help tidying up that workshop. I think Mid might need well-meaning souls to leave her alone. She has it how she likes it. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Why would anyone want to do that? I knew it was a good idea to have editors study alongside the children. It's really stoked their competitive spirit. Soon. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first... I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Well, I can't make head nor tell of them. 
Luckily, you don't need to. The engine plating is basically just a very efficient conductor. Create a thermal gradient across it and the heat radiates outwards, which... You know what? Just show the plans to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself the arse ache. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Easy though, and I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Up to you who you tow to the desert. I mean, Gab's good in a fight, but you don't have my winning personality. Ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sack loads of the stuff. Might be worth our importers and the Dalai Milin. I'll head down there. See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see this supplier. Just don't let that bastard fleece you, eh? Ah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? <laughs> Best of luck.
I'll head down to Dallymill, see about hiring us a wagon. Wait for me by the river. Good day to you. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right, I will. This is just nerves, or something we need to take more seriously. If you ever need a room, Sid, just say the word. I'll have a bed made up while you eat, and that goes for your friends too. Word is, the Black Shields took a hiding hands of some bearers in the old duchy. Yeah, who do you think they'll be taking that out on? Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumours, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you. Talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, 
But I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as me legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Seems Lord, but pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Torgal? Shall we go and investigate? Before they escape! Black Shields. Here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Why were they here? Are they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin.
You're quite talented with that rod of yours. <gasps> the crystals we get from the tail are all but worse. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of San Brac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade. A means of ridding himself of his rivals. A mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. I'm not going to change his mind. Can I interest you in today? Ah, 
Oh, yes. I trust it's all here. That his lordship's vultures should be found circling the village can mean only one thing. That he means to strike at us before we can strike at him. There is no time to lose. The final stage of our plan must be put into motion. I do for you. Come back again. Do you see anything you like? Day to you. Seen troops amassing in every port.